Hi, this is Steve from Conductive Labs, and in this video we're going to show how to route uh, USB host devices using um, the MRCC. Now a lot of these devices are uh, typically made for running in your DAW, and one of the goals of the MRCC was to be able to take those low-cost pieces of gear like this iRig 37 and run it into the MRCC with, in a DAW-less scenario and then be able to play synthesizers with it. Now we couldn't plug this uh, USB cable directly into the Volcas, so uh, we'll plug it into um, port B of the MRCC. You see the light went on, the power turned on for the iRig. Now we'll choose port B um, for the, uh, the MIDI hosts. Now that's, this is how you choose things on the MRCC. You first select the input and then you select all the outputs. Now right now you see on the screen that B1 is going nowhere, but if I play notes on it, you'll see that uh, the data screen is showing me that um, the notes are coming in, the note on and note off events are coming in on channel one. Okay, so let's route that to uh, four, which is um, where our Volca FM is. And you see now the iRig 37, which is typically for a DAW, can be run in a DAW scenario, and it also powers the iRig 37. Uh, so let's go ahead also and uh, let's, oops, let's remap it, or I should say choose the output to eight. So that's the Volca base, and again, if we, uh, like the last video, if we choose both of them. Uh, we play both of the synthesizers at the same time. And again, the screen shows us um, that B1 is routed to 4, and this is the data going through there. And if I choose this one, the, the light will be brighter on the one that I'm choosing. Uh, B1 going to 8, output 8. It shows me that as well. So um, the MRCC not only does it route, but it also shows you all the information that you want on the screen. Thanks so much for watching.